Well, hey guys. How you doing? I'm good. I'm alright. Hey, you good too? You good too? He got something well, to say too. He got something to say. Well, here we go. Let's kick this off. Hey you guys! Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is my session. Let me start this off. What's good, y'all? You already know who it is. Okay, Baby Nick and I'm Big Lexi. Go Big Lexi. Go Big Lexi. Go Lexi. She know I'm Big Lexi. She know I'm Big Lexi. Off camera over there, that's Kayla. It's Kayla. Little Kayla. Grande Kayla. We will be Come here, Wendy. So how do it? Mm. <laughs> okay, mm. so it's your show. What's up? But anyways, um, I got a story to tell. Today has been like the worst. Like I ain't never had some stuff like this happen to me before. Huh? I'm about to really interrupt. Granted, I don't know what she about to say because. She made me wait till she turned the camera on to find out. Well, so whatever she about to talk I wanted about. I to share with you guys, you know, to get you guys' input. See what you guys think, you know. See if so, you guys think how we think. So we all, all this on squad, we about to find out together. So whatever, however I react. Yeah. There it is. Okay, I'm sorry, go. So as y'all can see, I just got off work. Well, I just got off work. Got off a little bit early today because um, today I've had a gun put to me. Oh, I forgot she didn't know me. Um, yeah, I had a gun put to me and I work at a gas station, Circle K, and I won't say any names just because it's, you know, we could get sued. So, but anyways, um, they put a gun to me and asked me to open up my register and give me what I had. So, I'm like, sir, there's no way that I can open up my register. They was like, all right, we're about to come around here and check. So there's a way that I can press, you know, to lock my register. I locked my register. And so they weren't able to get into it. So what they did was just took all the cigarettes that we had, the scratchers and everything, and they hurried up and left. And so right after that, I had all the customers to get out and had to lock the doors call the police and because I was by myself boss lady had to leave just because over hours can't get over hours so she had to leave and so I was by myself for the moment till the next person got there so that happened while I was by myself so I had to kick everyone out the store like I said and call the police protocol you know push the buzzer and they investigated and everything they you know checked the cameras then right after they left this protocol called boss lady told her what happened and I basically told her that I didn't want to work there anymore so I quit my job so um I just oh, came babe. and I was so scared I panicked and I was so shaky and I hurried up and Why got out of there. Why did you call me? 
because I was still by myself, I was investigation took so long. They have to do fingerprints and all. You couldn't call me while they was doing that. No, I was I was talking to them. They had to get ID and all. You couldn't text me. I I was too busy, babe. I wasn't even thinking. I was even I was just panicking. And so I was like, I don't ever want to have to deal with that. So I just I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna find something else in because I that's this is maybe like the worst incident. I you know dealt with some you know some bad stuff but never a gun put to me like that like shock a flash before my eyes or something. So, I, as soon as the person got there, I hurried up and left and got on the bus and came on, like, real quick. But I didn't even call, I didn't call Babe just because I thought she, I knew she was asleep, but she wasn't asleep. Actually, when I got here, she was woke. Yeah, because I, t um, it's been kind of rough at work lately, so... I, last night, the night before, I drank like a monster extra shrimp, and it had me at three in the morning, so it had me going. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go to sleep for till like after I got off of work yesterday, yeah. till like five o'clock, and I had to be to work last night. <laughs> so um, I only went to work on like maybe like three. I was asleep three and a half, maybe four. Yeah. And um, then I was up, so when I got off today, it was really hard to stay yeah. awake. So much so, <laughs> I passed out. So, but I was, we was up. I was up early. At, it was three o'clock when I looked at my watch. So I fed him. He ate his food, and then I was like, okay, getting ready to go get her. And I got to knock at the door. And I'm like, where your key? Because I'm thinking it's Kayla. I'm like, what key? I don't have a key. <laughs> we do this like this. And so it, it threw me off. So. I'm sorry, babe. Yes, sorry, babe. I, I know I'm not going to. I'm not gonna tell mom about this, she's gonna freak. That was some crazy stuff, but that was, I just wanted to share with you guys, get you guys' input on it, see if you guys think I should just transfer, cause you know, she was like, at first she said, don't quit, just transfer to another one, so. I just wanted to see if you guys think I should maybe transfer or and the reason is because she just she been there and she just got some changes and um, I was like just transfer because I don't blame her for not wanting to go back I'm, I deal with psych so I deal with crazy stuff so I don't um I don't expect her to have to not at a, at a yeah. job. And I had just read um uh, his god mom had just um on Facebook tagged me in about a circle K getting robbed and the police seeing the robbery go down. You know, but the clerk got shot before they got in there or something. I seen that. Um and um so I definitely thought of that and I'm like just I don't blame her for not wanting to go back. Circle K's are dangerous. Circle K's are are dangerous because people know that they can't do nothing to them. Yeah. But anyways, so you guys give input and see tell me what you guys think I should do, so we're going to end this vlog out. Thanks for watching. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little traumatized. <laughs> um, I ended out. So don't forget but, to tell okay, me about the Okay, don't contest. forget. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, this is a prank. This is a Mom, prank. So um, she Mom, just I took her L real done. quick. <laughs> Mom, You. <laughs> you had us up here like that. Girl, I felt emotions for you. I knew when she came through the door, the first thing I said was she pranking somebody. <laughs> That's I'm the tired first of you. thing I said, but. Okay. <laughs> she fell for it. She took an L. I took my W. I won. I won this one. What do you think about it? Was it good? Well, I mean, at least I wasn't. It didn't bother you that I wasn't all or all. Oh my God! That didn't bother you. Well, you was just like, oh, babe. Because I didn't want them to be like she cold as fuck. <laughs> but because the first thing I told her, I was like, you about to try and prank me. Yeah, she's like, no, nah, I'm not. I said, I need to talk to you about this case. See what you think about it. <laughs> I Look, guys, I planned this at work. <laughs> I told my co-worker, I said, you know what? I'm going to prank back today and tell her that I quit. She said, oh yeah. I said, it's good for a Friday to prank. She said, oh yeah. She said, you should do it. I said, all right. You guys gotta realize that some, you y'all didn't see my questions. Like when I tell y'all, she called me. Why you ain't call me? Why you ain't call me? And why that you get on the bus? The thing I done, like, like always, that's why I'm like, why you didn't call me? Why you didn't? You took the bus home. You took the bus all the way home. After being robbed, man, when they got them cigarettes taken before, she was on the phone like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <laughs> So for you to be like, I am robbed. She was a little calm. I don't have no phone call, no text, yeah. no nothing. <laughs> and it's like, so I'm sorry if I, I'm not emotionless. I just gotta be like, cause she tried to catch me off guard. Cause she knew I. She thought she probably thought I was gonna be knocked out when she got home. Well, she tried to catch me off guard. I give it to you. Hey, I was I was low key glad. Ah! This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was her prank, y'all. Don't forget about the um because y'all still got just a little bit of time. And I just want to say we love everybody. Thank you to all our new people added to our tribe, the on squad. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. We is going up there. Keep sharing. Make sure y'all like these com these videos. If y'all like that uh prank, come on, get us up there to 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 likes. Come on, y'all. We can do this. Don't be scared. Make sure you comment. Leave a comment down there at the bottom. Did I get her, y'all? Or did I not get her? No, I, I got her. No, I did I get her or did I get her? Bill. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, for if you still got time to win that $50 Visa card and that $50 Amazon card and an added surprise, you still got time. So, first, make sure you subscribe to Meeting the Owenses. Make sure you hit your notification bell. Okay? Bing! Number two, follow us on all our social media or any social media that you have. My Snapchat, it be lit. I'm Nikki the Stem. I'm lit. <laughs> Every day we lit. Hold on, let me and he on here all the time. 
And plus, you know, it, I always list our um, social media. Number three, know when I was born. I'm four months. Watch all the messes. Okay? So, make sure you know his born date. Go watch the video. There's a labor and delivery video and the next day of life video. Check out the dates in the video. And last but not least, make sure you DM us on Twitter and tell us why you need it, why you want it. You still got time. It's almost over though. Get it in there. Get it in there. Get it in there. All right, guys, that's it. We out hold this on. thing. Whatever. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What we holding on? What we holding on? My come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up now. Hurry up now. Hurry up now. Whoop, whoop. Oh. And we got Miss DYI in the house. So make sure y'all look out for that video. She just had her first fashion show with outfits that she designed, tailor made herself. We out this